Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for February 5th through February 11th. I have something special for you guys today. I was just on my Facebook and one of my Sagittarius friends that I have known my pretty much my whole life and um, she posted something. Heart is just a muscle, right? Is that what you guys think? Because I know that the past few readings I've done for Sagittarius, they haven't had a lot of heart in there, have they? If you think negative, then that's what you will get. And when you come to these readings, you're looking for help, right? So I'm here to tell you, if you continue to look at the glass as half empty, it will keep being half empty. What is the heart? What does heart mean? Yes, it's a muscle. But if you look at it as being just a muscle, then that's all it will be. Heart is compassion. Heart is kindness. Heart is love. Heart is being open. Having a heart is having, being able to empathize with others, having sympathy for others, being open to, to the possibilities, offering love even when you don't feel like it, loving yourself. If you look at it as it just being a muscle, then that's all it's going to be. Your thoughts truly do become things. And if you're looking for your life to change, realize what's in your heart. And it's not just a muscle. P.S. I have a lot of other Sagittariuses in my life. And you aren't the only one that is feeling that way. You need to replace negativity with positivity. You need to open your heart chakra. And if you don't know how to look at it, look, if you don't know how to do it, look it up. Okay? When you can love openly and realize that your heart rules everything. And it's not just a muscle. Your life will change drastically. Now, I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards. And then we're going to break into the tarot deck. Keep in mind that this is not a private reading. This is a general reading for a wide audience. Not everything I say is going to resonate with you. Free yourself from negativity. It's time to take back control of your life. And it's funny because I was just getting ready to do Sagittarius and I happened to look. It was meant to be. It was. These people are struggling, and they're struggling because of their, their way of looking at things. If you don't have a different perspective, things don't change. Your thoughts really do become things. If you think negative, you attract negative. If you think positive, you attract positive. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Let go of it. The past is the past. The glass is now full, not empty. The possibilities are endless, endless. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope. Whatever has happened, it's over. Realize that there's something better in front of you.
if you're watching these readings, you must you must believe somewhat, right? You must believe that there's something else out there. You wouldn't be watching them. So if you believe that there's something else out there, you have just a few more steps to go. Release the past. Free yourself from this past. Regrets, rejections, whatever it is. And realize that your future is bright. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It brought you growth. Whatever has happened has brought you growth. It's all about your perspective and how you look at it. If you truly feel like the heart is just a muscle, then you're in trouble. Time to stop feeling bitter. Let go of the bitterness. It's time to bring the passion back. Okay? It's time. It's time for you to have confidence. It's time for you to have courage. It's time for you to focus on the future, not the past. If you don't if you don't love yourself, you can't expect somebody else to love you, right? It's a time of hope and inspiration, like I just told you. Everything happens for a reason. Whatever didn't work out wasn't meant to be. Okay? It really wasn't. It's a time of hope. That's what this card is. It's a time of renewal. So that's what you need to look at it as. This is a time of inspiration. Whatever didn't work out, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't, even though it may have Thank God for unanswered prayers. That's what I'm trying to say. You may have thought it was going to bring you wish fulfillment. And because it didn't, you're, you're dumping out your glass. I mean, you're really dumping it out. It's like, it really, it's like the glass is empty now. You dumped it right out. And because you've dumped, and look at she's dumping them out again. You're dumping out future possibilities by living in that place of gloom and doom. You know, I feel like it's really time for you to to stop being so defensive. Whatever has happened brought you relationship growth. And it's 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 time for you to stop feeling like you've been defeated because you weren't defeated. It brought you growth, believe it or not. Many of you, there's been some kind of split or there's been some kind of breakdown that has made you feel like there's no future, there's nothing more for me, you know, doom, 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 doom. When the fact of the matter is that this brought you relationship growth, even if you're with somebody or not, it did, okay? And I know that you're wanting romance, but you can't expect somebody to come in and give you romance if you're dumping out all of the love that you have inside of you. It's time for you to stop playing games with yourself, with your mind, juggling your emotions. It's time for you to really stop being bitter. We have bitter, 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 bitter right here. If you're bitter, then don't expect any love to come in, okay? If you're looking for romance, you've got to let go of that closed-mindedness because reverse, this is closed-minded. Okay? You really, really need to stop feeling like a victim. Stop feeling like hateful. Okay? You could be feeling very... Uh, very, very uh, aggressive and defensive at this time because you can't. You feel detached. I feel detached because I I didn't receive the love that I that I wanted. And now it's time to release those feelings. Whatever has happened truly, truly brought you growth. There were some lessons that needed to be learned here. 
not to be impulsive is one of them. When you jump, you know, that's not usually a good thing. This is impulsive energy right here. Okay? And this is the sign of Sagittarius. So there's been some impulsiveness here that may not have paid off. And now you're probably feeling like a victim, woe is me, detached, cold-hearted, and bitter. Instead of looking at this as a time of inspiration, a time of hope. Thank God for unanswered prayers. It didn't happen for a reason. It didn't work out because somebody from above was protecting you. Trust me. And now it's time for you to really bring some balance back to your life. I just need to get these zoomed in. I guess we're going to leave it like that. Maybe go a little bit more. Eh, I'll leave it. Um, many of you are going through some mental conflicts right now. Feeling very defeated. Power struggles within your mind. When you really should be looking at this in a whole different light. You know, I really feel like you, I see that you do. You need to look at this as a, as a time of expansion. Whatever happened was meant to be. Right now, you're blocking anything new from coming into your life. Because you're feeling like you're, you're the less fortunate. You're feeling like, uh, like a victim. Okay. Here we have uh, lack of movement. Lack of forward movement because of your thoughts. You may be feeling guilty. You may be feeling jealous. Um, and the fact of the matter is, it's all in your hands. There's a change of course that is needed, but you're not doing it. This is the change of course, but it's reversed. I mean, it's needed, but you're not doing it because you have to learn this tough, tough lesson. There's a tough lesson here. You should be celebrating this as a success. Thank God it didn't work out. Trust me. It's a time of liberation. It's not a time of, uh, I can't get up. You, I mean, you should be looking at this as a time of liberation. Because that you deserved a hell of a lot more than that anyway, whatever it was. You deserved more, and you know you did. I feel like you've been rejected. You've been rejected by somebody, and now it's like, I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. You know, that kind of energy. And because you feel that way, you're pouring out all the love. You're not thinking of this as a blessing, which it really was. And because of your thoughts, there's no new opportunities coming in. This is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Upright, there's a new opportunity come in. If you let your thoughts, if you let your thoughts drive your life in a negative way, do not expect any gifts, okay? These would be gifts, upright. There's no new gifts coming in. Money's screwed at this point because of your negative thoughts, like I said. <clears throat> and I will repeat myself as many times as I have to. Your thoughts become things. If you are down in the dumps and you live in that space mentally, everything else goes to shit, okay? It's time for you to have courage and confidence instead of this woe is me attitude. This is somebody who is, and you got to be, this is, this is you, man or woman. This is somebody who lacks confidence, lacks courage, is very spiteful at this time because it's reversed, very uh, ruthless in a way, feeling like hateful. When in reality, it's time for a transformation. It's time for you to release the past. Release this regret. Release this rejection. You deserved more anyway. Stop feeling down in the dumps. Stop feeling like you can't move. Stop feeling negative. And walk away from the past. Walk away from it. Don't look back. 
This is a time of inspiration. It's time for you. It's a time of hope. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of transformation for you. And that's what you should be looking at it. I mean, this is the transformation card. It's a time of liberation. That didn't work out because you deserve more. Strength, confidence, courage, willpower, discipline, mastering emotions. It's time to let go. It's time to face your fears and focus. Use the force within you to relight that fire that's been put out. Unless you want destruction in your life. Because that's the tower reversed. You have the ability to avoid more destruction right now by changing your thoughts. And if you don't change your thoughts, be prepared. Okay? Because when the tower comes out in a reading, be prepared for some more upheaval. Luckily, it's reversed. It's up to you. Keep thinking negative. See what happens. This is a warning. It's up to you. Your future's bright. Concentrate on the future, not the past. There's your power. You are being offered the power. You are being offered the sword. You are being offered this awakening right now. Wake up. It's in your hands. The power is in your hands. Do you have the strength? Do you have the courage? Do you have the conf confidence? Do you have the discipline? Do you have the willpower? Can you master your emotions and stand up for yourself in a positive way? Can you cut the negativity out of your life? Can you free yourself and take back control of your life? Can you, Sagittarius? Can you? Can you? Can you free yourself? Can you free yourself from the negativity? And take back control of yourself and let go of the regrets and let go of the rejections and go through this awakening that is being handed to you. You're being offered the power right now for magnificent change. But in order for your wishes to be fulfilled, this is wish fulfillment. In order for your wishes to be fulfilled, this is a time of hope. Renewal and inspiration. Free yourself from the negativity and your life will change in every aspect. Finances, love, health, everything. The glass is not empty. The glass is not half empty. The glass is full. Don't dump it out. Talk to you later.